What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here. Another good morning if you're watching early, good afternoon, or good evening whenever you're watching it if it's later. Appreciate all the subscribers. Had a great time last night on our live show. See a lot of new faces in the chat and definitely appreciate it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe. We got live shows on Monday, Wednesday, usually pre-game, post-game. Cut a lot of these kind of quick videos as well. So everything Cowboys, but also, you know, I love McCain's, even though we, we lost last week, we're going to bounce back and we'll be fine. So anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe. We definitely do appreciate it. But, you know, we talked about it on our on our show last night, Kelly and I, and, you know, it's just a tough season. It's 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 probably one of the toughest seasons I've had as a, as a Cowboy fan in my life. And, you know, we've had hard seasons before, but just everything outside of football is what's making it hard this year, right? We've gone through those 5 and 11 years. We've gone through the Romo injury years. We went through the Dak injured year. And you kind of accepted what you had, but you saw some you saw some light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe they're building something. And kind of what you see now this year is a team just, you know, one full of distraction, full of outside noise, full of drama. Not, not Football just doesn't seem to be the priority within the organization. And that's something that's got to change. So hopefully this will be a wake up, wake up call for Jerry and the organization to kind of get their, get their stuff together, if you know what I mean. But looking at the game this weekend, we, you know, it was, it was crazy last night. We couldn't even talk about it. I mean, what do you talk about? I mean, what positive thing can you look at at this game? And a couple things I would say is, you know, Overshone is just a star in the making. I think he's going to be the future, you know, one of those future cogs in this Dallas Cowboy defense. He's a guy that can definitely, you know, he's a game changer. And uh, the other, obviously, is Micah Parsons. Now he's going to, they're going to have to resign him next year. Um, he's going to demand, you know, a big contract, which he deserves. But, you know, if you really think about it, look what he did in his first game back off an injury, which we know he's not 100% still, I'm sure. And he wrecked havoc with really no support outside Overshone, really, at linebacker, but no support from the D-line. I mean, you're miss, still missing so many guys. Um, so that just shows how good Micah Parsons is. So a lot of people, you know, we talked about it last night, is would you trade him for draft picks? Would you try and, you know, as, you, as you're retooling this team, is their capital worth a little bit more than Parsons? And I just don't know if I believe that. I, I think an edge pass rusher, a guy who can, who's a game changer, they're not easy to come by. And I just don't know if that's something that you would give up on or trade and, and hope you draft, you know, the next one or maybe two guys that can equal him. I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-sign Micah Parsons. Um, haven't really heard much on the injury front. I don't know if Deron Bland, you know, you keep thinking he'll be back. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm kind of losing, losing hope on that until I see it. Uh, obviously, Brandon Cooks. You got Jonathan Mingo is going to make his debut. What I would tell Cowboys fans is just kind of hold your, <clears throat> you know, hold your expectations with, with Mingo because, you know, Cooper Rush is throwing him the ball. So I, I don't, you know, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say it was a bad deal or a good deal or whatever until until you see next season. Give him an off season, see how it goes. Uh, he's definitely got the physical tools. Uh, I remember him at Ole Miss. I mean, he was, you know, one of those top receivers in the SEC, heavy competition. Goes to Carolina. I mean, they've changed coaches. You kind of go through your quarterbacks. They've kind of shuffled through this and that. And then he was obviously with, with Bryce Young being a young quarterback. You're trying to get things going there. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna hold, you know, what he did in Carolina to say he's a bust or not uh, or is a bad draft pick or not. Well, hopefully we see some progression, but I just don't know if you're really going to see it until he gets a full off season and gets back in there. What I'm curious to see is how does that affect their drafting of a wide receiver? Because, I mean, that's been one of the hot things is they need to get another receiver, young receiver opposite C.D. Lamb. Are they satisfied with Mingo being that guy and not go the receiver route? So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um Again, with, with the Texans, I'm going out there. So any, any of my peeps that are going out to AT&T, going out to Dallas this weekend, give your boy a holler. Uh, going to go primarily going to see Tyson. 
that's just a bucket list. I know it's kind of a goofy fight, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be entertaining. So flying out tomorrow to uh, definitely check out that fight, hang out at a, you know, in Dallas for the weekend, and then get ready for Monday night. And hopefully, I know everyone wants Dallas to lose, but man, if I'm watching them, I, got, I, got, I want to see them win. <laughs> but I don't know if I could sit through a game the way that Philly game was offensively. I like the I like the fight in the defense, but I mean, you turn the ball over five times. There's only so much your defense can do to to hold a team, a good offensive team like Philly, down so much. So the offense is going to have to do something. Please make it at least entertaining. Lose 35, 31. I don't know. make it at least an entertaining game for the fans, um, especially if we got to sit through it. So we're going to get through that. And then I'll be heading heading back, and and I really only got a couple more games on the trip. We got a road trip to the Panthers and uh, the Buccaneers there on Sunday night, which I've got a pretty strong feeling they may end up flexing that game out. If and that'd be amazing, you flex the Cowboys game out, but they don't really deserve any prime time games. So kind of wait and see what happens there. Um, but <clears throat> anyway, and one of the other things we talked about, love to get your opinions on as well. If you missed the show. You can always go back and watch it, but we had a long conversation, uh, obviously about you know what coach would you want to see. We threw some names out there with Vrabel and Ben Johnson. Then obviously the wild cards that, that would be the extreme ones like a Deion Sanders, which he kind of already said he's not interested. I wouldn't be a big fan of that. I don't think his personality would would survive uh, the NFL. He'll he, he he can't put up with today's player and a lack of effort if in certain situations. He's going to want to cut everybody, but you can't do that in the NFL. So I think Dion's best served for college. And obviously Belichick, you know, we talked a little bit about that. But one of the main things we talked about was Dak Prescott. And what is the future for Dak Prescott? And really, if the Cowboys continue on this path and you end up with a top five, top six, top seven pick, and you do have a franchise quarterback, within the draft it falls to you do you make that do you make that pick um if it were me and i was running the organization and a, and a friend and what you would think would be a franchise quarterbacks there I'd, I'd, I'd take them i mean you have to i mean you look you got to have a secession plan and the, the cowboys have not been able to they haven't they've been able to but they haven't drafted a quarterback in the first round since troy aikman so you're going back you know 30 plus years and you know, you look at the Super Bowl winners, most Super Bowl champions outside of Brady are first-round draft picks or typically your franchise-type quarterbacks that are drafted. So you get this opportunity, you've got to take it. Now you say, well, you just signed Dak Prescott, you gave him all that money. But if you kind of look at it, there is an out after a couple years. So you could draft a guy and let him go the old-fashioned way and just kind of sit back and watch like a love, Jordan Love did, like an Aaron Rodgers did, like a you know those kind of quarterbacks. And then you got an out with with Dak Prescott because one, you got a quarterback on a on a rookie deal, but two, the there is a kind of an out after after two years. He has a no-trade clause, but if you went that route and said, hey, Dak, this is the plan. What do you want to do? We can get you to the team you want and make it, you know, and trade you. Then he probably would waive that to go to another team as well. So there's a lot of options there, but I just think if you have the opportunity to draft a franchise quarterback early and it's there and it's got to be the guy that you love, um, I think you got to do it. And there's no guarantees, but you can't live in fear either. I mean, you can't pass up. A franchise quarterback because you're in fear that it may not be the right one you got to take some chances and that's just the way it is so that's kind of my thoughts see what happens i'd love to get your guys's opinion uh hanging out in the cave it's a somber cave i mean we got to get some we got to get something going in this cave to get some get some magic and get some feeling good but i just don't think it's going to happen this year so i'm looking around and you know, you see the you see Hollywood Hendersons and Dan Reeves and Tony Dorsett's and Emmett Smiths and Michael Irvins and Troy Aikmans and Bob Lillies and you know Blaine Nye and you know and Gogan and and all these legends and all these Randy Whites and these Super Bowl champions and it's like we got to get some we got to get some new Super Bowl champions and that's the thing about Dallas man you win a Super Bowl champion ship in Dallas. You're a made man for life. You're always going to be a legend. You're always going to be wanted. You're always going to have an opportunity to make money at shows and appearances and meet and greets. So that's what I tell these cowboys is I know everyone wants to build a brand and you want to, you know, have your side hustle and I get it. But 
man, just focus in, get back to the grind, get back to, you know, that Clover Lang and Rocky three, get back to the basement, focus nothing on winning a championship, make it happen. And you'll have enough money. You'll have enough fame. You'll have enough success that it won't, nothing else won't really matter. So that's pretty much all I got this morning, man. Got to get ready. Got to get cleaned up, get headed to work, but you guys have a great day. Again, if you're new to the channel, definitely appreciate you checking it out. We got our live shows. Hit that subscribe if you haven't. If you weren't sure and just hadn't hit that subscribe yet, go ahead and hit it. Also, that thumbs up. Hit that like button. It helps the videos. It helps the algorithms. It helps the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. And then finally, hit that alert bell because we drop videos all the time. And that way you know when the latest one comes out. But always appreciate it, Cowboys Nation. We're going to get through this, man. We get through it together, but we're going to find out. And we're going to figure this thing out. We're, and, and hopefully this is a blessing in disguise for this team. They've been kind of rolling like this. Maybe you need to hit, you need to get slapped in the face, hit rock bottom, come out better. So that's all we can hope at right now. Everything is hope. So appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you guys out there at AT&T if any of you guys are out there. See ya.